Newcastle, a beach town, is Australia's second oldest city, located just a two-hour drive north of Sydney. Like Sydney, Newcastle's top tourist attractions are its beautiful beaches and harbour. The city's friendly population is less than half a million that makes Newcastle a laid-back option for a holiday as the crowds are fewer and the pace is slower. There is an abundance of beautiful beaches to choose from, so grab your swimmers and towel, it's beach time. Plan your trip with our video of Travel Guide to Newcastle Beaches. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Stockton Beach Stockton Beach is situated at the southern end of Newcastle Bight, where there is a sweeping expanse of sand and sand dunes and views stretching back to Port Stephens. From the city, catch the Stockton Ferry from Queen's Wharf and enjoy the ferry ride across the harbour. There is an excellent new adventure playground near the ferry terminal which makes the trip to Stockton an excellent outing for families with kids. From the Stockton Ferry Terminal, enjoy a walk along the foreshore and the break wall where you will see the remains of shipwrecks. Number 2. Caves Beach Slightly out of Newcastle, and the next beach along from Reddit lies Caves Beach. Steve's uncle lived right opposite the beach which is just amazing. If you love a bit of exploring, you probably won't be surprised to hear that there are some caves to explore. Just make sure you arrive at low tide to have a peek inside because it can only be accessed at low tide. The beach is named for the network of sculptural sea caves spread along its southern end, which are wondrous to explore, especially for kids. The beach is patrolled and is ideal for both swimmers and surfers. Number 3. Nobby's Beach Newcastle's highest profile beach, Nobby's Beach is a favorite swimming spot for family groups, those learning to surf, and some of the local dolphins. With the beach on one side and a public recreational area including barbecue facilities on the other, it's the perfect spot to spend the day. Nobby's Beach has a beautiful stretch of sand right in the middle of the city. With the famous walk to the lighthouse, you'll notice beautiful pockets of the beach which is just gorgeous. To get to Nobby's, you can catch the light rail to the Newcastle Beach stop and walk from there. There's also parking available on site. Number 4. Newcastle Beach Newcastle Beach has a reputation for being one of the best surf locations in Australia and is a favorite spot for board riders wishing to catch the perfect wave off Newcastle Point. Lifeguard services are provided seven days a week during swimming season. A stroll between Newcastle Beach and Nobby's Beach will take approximately 15 minutes along the scenic Bathers Way, with iconic Newcastle ocean baths in between. There is easy access to the beach by using light rail and bus facilities. Number 5. Bar Beach Bar Beach is an inner-city suburb of Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia, located 1.6 kilometers southwest of Newcastle's Central Business District. The suburb is named for the beach that extends along its eastern border. The beach is home to the Cook's Hill Surf Life Saving Club. The northern part of the beach is commonly known as Susan Gilmore Beach, named after the American clipper Susan Gilmore that was wrecked there in the early hours of 4 July 1884. It also has a number of heritage-listed buildings including Cook's Hill Surf Life Saving Club and Memorial, Reed Park Tennis Clubhouse and Tennis Courts, and the Empire Park Bowling Club Fence. Number 6. Meriwether Beach The iconic Meriwether Beach is home to the international surfing competition, Surfist. It is part of a beach reserve that stretches from Dixon Park in the north to Burwood Beach in the south with superb views in all directions. Enjoy a coffee at a beachside cafe and watch as locals walk their dogs. Parents juggle caffeine and kids with sandy hair and the surfers roll up by the dozen. Walk a little further down the beach promenade and you will find Meriwether Ocean Baths the largest ocean baths complex in the Southern Hemisphere. Number 7. Shoal Bay One of Port Stephen's treasures is Shoal Bay Beach. Nestled between Nelson Bay and Tomary, you will find a beautiful white sandy beach. The sand is clean and white while the water is a crystal clear green. The beach is kid-friendly and safe with no big waves. This is because the beach is protected by Tomary Headland. There are a number of takeaway food shops across the road. For anyone wanting a great meal or a cold beer, try the Shoal Bay Resort. This resort was formerly known as the Shoal Bay Country Club. This is a legendary venue in the area and has hosted some of Australia's best bands. At Sunset Shoal Bay Beach is also one of the area's most romantic spots to stroll along or to pop that ultimate question. There is a holiday park located on the Nelson Bay side of Shoal Bay Beach. 
During the summer holiday season, you can find a wide range of family-friendly watercraft for hire. These include water scooters, canoes, sailboards, and even catamarans. So why not take the whole family out for a great, healthy, and fun day on the beach? Number 8. Zenith Beach Zenith Beach is framed between two conical headlands, one 60-meter high Tomari to the north, and one 40-meter Stevens Peak to the south. Walking tracks lead to the top of Tomari Head and out to Point Stevens. The 400-meter long beach faces east and is backed by 10 to 20-meter high Forjun, which links with a quieter Shoal Bay Beach behind the two tying the head to the mainland. A car park is located behind the Forjun, with two walkways to the beach. The beach is partly sheltered by Point Stevens with waves averaging 1.3 meter. These maintain an attached bar, which is only cut by rips during and following high waves when rips form against each head with one or two more in the center. The main beaches usually receive waves averaging one meter or less and are moderately safe for swimming. However, higher seas produce strong rips against the rocks. There is beach and rock fishing off all the beaches, with fly roads also fished by professional fishermen. Be careful of crossing the spit when breached as fishers have been trapped by the tide. Number 9. Dudley Beach. Top place for a walk and some solitude. Good to be able to get away from the crowds and enjoy some time in nature. Scenic and restful. A great beach, very close to Newcastle. Compared to other Newcastle beaches, it does not have many people, perhaps because there are no patrols. Imagine, you have to rely on yourself to do the right thing. There are picnic shelters, but no change rooms. The outlook is terrific. Well worth a visit. Number 10. Blacksmith's Beach. Blacksmith's Beach is a patrolled beach at the southern end of a sandy nine-mile stretch of coastline. It's popular with families and is known as a good beach for swimming. The break wall, which acts as the border between the beach itself and the Swansea Channel, is also popular with walkers, cyclists, and anglers. Blacksmith's Beach is home to the Swansea Belmont Surf Lifesaving Club.